right, here's the top five welterweight contender, Bilal, remember the name, Muhammad. And I pause at calling him an overachiever, but there were a lot of people who didn't necessarily think that this man was going to vault into the top five and be the factor that he has become in one of the UFC's deepest divisions. Well, when you're this committed, when you are so committed to your craft and you have an iron will that you will be something special, you can accomplish anything. That's Bilal Muhammad. When you talk to him, you get a sense that this guy believes that he's the best in the world. He doesn't believe it. He applies the work ethic to it to make himself and give himself a chance. It has allowed for him to be exactly where he is today. And now he believes he might just be one win away from his first shot at the UFC title. We'll see how it goes for Muhammad tonight. practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Bruce Lee steps inside the octagon and is ready to fight. And now our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Bilal, remember the name, Muhammad! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Herb Dean, our referee for this Ready. one. Let's do it. All right, here's the bona fide welterweight contender, Bilal. Remember the name, Muhammad. This man has been a force, really. A Could be the beginning of the end here. Oh, big left hook there. Early round one action here, and just like that, he gets him to the ground. Feels like a pretty significant moment here early, champ. I mean, it's no secret what this guy wants to do. This guy wants to take you down, and he wants to grind you out. He got the takedown early. Let's see how long he can control this position, and what amount of damage can he inflict on his opponent. Now he's going full mount. Muhammad's going for a choke. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you. You can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Making all these shots count. Oh, staying busy fighting off of his back and he lands. 
All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. And he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Changing the position. There it is. Now he's going to mount. This is a terrible position. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Bilal Muhammad. Stay in tight. Stay in tight. Grab the head. Grab the head. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, hammer fist here by Muhammad. Again, half guard. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. I need you to scramble, scramble. He's got to be careful here. Ooh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Muhammad's right back to the full mount here. That was a slick transition. He's got the ground and pound going now. Got to watch his neck. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Oh, oh, oh! How in the world did he escape that submission? Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be just with their absolute love. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that ground control was what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now. They're popping forward. They're excited. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the butt that would end the night. Just misses with the jab there. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already in DC. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again here? I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come off of a left hook because off the left hook, you don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. He's real good at trying to find that shot. Perfect shot there, DC. One more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Five minutes in the books. All right, heading back to the corner now after that round. And Lee's corner now. We'll take a look at that lip. The cut man is in, and you got to tighten that up. It's really starting to bleed now. We'll see if uh, it rears its ugly head as this fight continues. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? You ready? Round two on the way. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. Muhammad gets hit with that hook. That one had some pop behind it. strike to the body really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds swing and a miss with that punch by muhammad oh stuffs the takedown without issue some separation and that's that's the danger 
danger in the engagement there. Well, the most significant stat in this fight, and you can see it right there in plain sight, bottom of your screen, the body strikes. His opponent has had absolutely no answer. He hasn't lowered his guard with the elbow whatsoever, and I'm not sure how many strikes to the body he can take. Big double leg, double team. Oh, he lands another takedown here, just doing a nice job, not telegraphing his shot, clean entries. The Olympian's gotta like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Out of range with that kick attempt. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 33 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding